Let's write this percent as a fraction or mixed number in simplest form. To do so, we just remember what the percent symbol means. It means per hundred. So I'll write this number down, 38 and 5 tenths, and then remember what percent means as a fraction. It means 1 over 100. All right, so I have 38 and 5 tenths over 1, and that's not a very good format. We do not like to have a decimal number as a numerator or denominator of a fraction, so let's go ahead and take care of that by multiplying the numerator and also the denominator by 10. Now, why did I do that? I know multiplying this number by 10 moves the decimal point one place to the right. And I'm okay as long as I multiply the numerator and the denominator by that same number. Then I still have times 1 over 100. Let's now go ahead and simplify. This times 10 is 380. Five. I have 1 times 10, which is 10, and then I still have times 1 over 100. I think I'll go ahead and write it down there in the denominator. This times 10 times 1 is 385, and then I have 10 times 100. Now, let's finish up. Now, we want to still simplify this. Notice that 385 does have a common factor of 5, and you can check me, but that is 5 times 77. So let me go ahead and write, say, 10 as 2 times 5, and then times 100. And I'm doing that just to show the simplification here. So in the numerator, 1 times 77, which is 77. In the denominator, 2 times 100, which is 200. So what is my ending result? 77 over 200, and that is the fraction equivalent of this percent.